Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our national officials for this match. First referee, Mark Santos. Second referee is Philip Rico Huerta. And now let's meet the starters. First, for the Richmark Sports 3B Elite Spikers. Middle blocker number three, GJ Guadalupe. Opposite hitter number six, Kaser Rosales. Middle blocker number 13, Bonch Castell. Outside spiker number 17, Colonel Ipulan. Outside spiker number 18, Clarence de Guzman. And setter number 21, RG Douglas. Starting the battle is their team captain, number two, Carlo Almario. And the head coach for Richmark Sports is RJ Francisco. And now the starters for the VNS Nasty Griffins. Middle blocker number seven, team captain Mike Doria. Opposite hitter number two, Ronnie Adviento. Center number nine, Dominic Castaneda. Middle blocker number 10, Chester Bornell. Outside spiker number 16, Kenneth Kulabat. And outside spiker number 22, Wewe Medina. Starting the battle number six, Kimwell Valmoria. Sitting in as head coach for VNS is John De Guzman. We are inside the United Sports Arena for VNS versus Richmark Sports, and it's Ipulan, Castel, Dacles, Rosales, Guadalupe, De Guzman, and Almario beginning things for Coach RJ Francisco. They're wearing white and purple for today. And now for the black shirts, it's Adviento, Bornel, Medina, Culaba, Toria, Castaneda, and Valmoria. Their same starting lineup from their previous outing. Again, Ken Malines is out of this conference for VNS. That's why Ronnie Adviento is now playing that opposite spiker position from his usual middle blocker state. Thank you for joining us. This is Mix Gomez at your service alongside Jamie La Vitoria and Mika Bisamis. Jamie, to remind everybody, these two teams are looking for their first win of the season and VNS is actually looking for their first same victory of our conference. Six, and and for today because for both the match to Richmond Sports. They still lack some compared to RG the other teams. But I mean, I said this earlier in the pregame, you want to end on a high note, and it's all about learning, right? These are the growing pains that come with being a new team as well. So let's see how this game will unfold. There's a hit from the left pin. That didn't work for Rich Mark Sports, but uh, now it's Bonch Castell who committed the net touch. <laughs> so that's a violation against RMS. Leave a little giggle. Oh, but we're gonna have a, <laughs> a quick attack. <laughs> but I think it's a challenge. Challenge early on. I mean, the fact that you're calling a challenge early on for RMS just goes to show that. You want to get every point, and you need to understand the value and importance of each point. Well, he did also see the reaction of the veteran himself, Bonch Castell, who absolutely thought that he <laughs> did not touch the net. Well, look, we will see soon. Yeah. <laughs> we talk about it a lot, that uh, adrenaline would sometimes yes. make you miss out on uh, feeling the net here and there. But this is literally the first point of the game. Well, in situations like this, whether it's the start or the end, you want to stay calm <laughs> and collected. There you go, Bunch. You absolutely yeah. touched the net. <laughs> <laughs> he's a bit in shock. <laughs> Best actor award goes to him. <laughs> and he's laughing it off with Coach RJ Francisco. That's a nice way to start this game. Wait, wait, Medina will now be serving. They've been doubling up on their service practice after committing a ton in their previous game. That's outside for Casey Kulabat. Kulabat coming from the UE Warriors. Had an early gift, but unfortunately that sails out. Right intention though for being aggressive at the net. Kulabat is the second leading scorer of the conference so far for VNS just behind Wewe Medina. 
Ball scraped the net, and here's Ronnie Adviento. Nice return by Guadalupe. Guadalupe maximizing in the front row, the block, no coverage on the side of VNS. Well, we're going to see a lot of rallies back and forth mix because, I mean, both teams want to have their first match, so expect some long rallies today. There's that sense of urgency for VNS and RMS, as now it's Bornell who could not score. It's outside. And no challenge for coach JP de Guzman. Loving the honesty here from the players. Please. Another air for coming from a quick attack. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> from the middle blockers. Are you sensing some giggle from yes. our players? No doubt. Well, it shows their oh, passion, there you go. but there we go. Yeah. <laughs> well, after all, this is where power meets yeah, I was passion. just going to say that. <laughs> Bornell, let's take a look on your screens here with that beautiful A quick attack. And the A quick attack can only happen when there is a stable first ball. So it's important that these players uh, perfect those basic skills of digging and receiving. And at least. Bornell was able to get some retribution. He's now Kulabat, attacks from the left, tipping it over. Bit of a scramble. Guadalupe off the block. Guadalupe with that eight quick attack, maximizing on the blocking here of VNS. Just not too fancy, just that simple eight quick attack. Also coming from a bump set. So it's two early points for GJ Guadalupe in this game. Now it's Colonel Ipulan serving. We talked about him in the pregame as a star on the rise in the Spikers turf. And speaking of stars, Casey Kulabat scores. Kulabat, uh, Kulabat rather, rather, and Medina, the outside Spikers here coming from the left pin, just tooling the block here. Lack of press on the side of Richmark. We're back with VNS on the serve. It's three to four. Nice receive. Back set onto the opposite. That did not work. Close to the net, and it's a draw for Castaneda. Castaneda, he is in the front row. You gotta maximize it. He has the height. The receiver is a bit of an overpass, but he was able to execute that. Well, Castaneda barely jumped to score that right. previous point. You'll gladly take it if you're VNS. It's been a trend nowadays as Ronnie Adviento commits an error from the service line, but it's been a trend, right, that you tend to have taller setters. Yes, I mean, not only that it helps with the blocking, but um, it has that added uh, flair, I would say, when you're a tall uh, setter. And also in terms of serving as well, you have a higher visual when you serve as well. So of course, you do want to maximize that part of your rotation wherein your setter is serving. That's a full front row for you. That's right. You have three spikers in the front row when your setter is in the back. Casey Kulabat, one of those spikers of VNS, serving that ball in. Back row hit. Nice rejection by Medina. And their middle blocker in Doria. A chance for VNS. Wewe. Still no point. We shall continue. Oh, that's low for Daklas. Daklas tried to be that offensive setter here, but the attack was a bit too low. The timing was a little bit too slow. And the jump was very much late in that sequence. Right intent. The aggression is there. And frustration. Yeah. <laughs> so we have a one-point advantage now for VNS. Six to five. Nice serve. Nice receive. But was that in or out? It's outside for GJ. Loving the aggressiveness coming from the middle blockers here in both teams, VNS and Richmark. I mean, you'd rather have an attack that sails out than an attack that... I mean, it's crushed in the net. So this is where the passion is coming out. So we're back with Casey Kulabat. We actually had the majority of the mistakes in terms of services in their previous game. So he's off to a good start. There's the dig. And a one-two play for Castaneda. One-two play. First technical timeout. That will lead us to our first technical timeout. Eight to five. Rich Mark Sports.
Zoom Surfing, Kenneth. Back at the Sports Arena for your Spiker Surf 2024, and it's an ongoing challenge for Richmark to get things done. Training twice a week is not enough for Coach RJ Francisco to infuse his system. It affects their athleticism, coordination, and concentration. It's not easy shifting back to competition mode when you don't see each other often. But for them, the season was expected to be this way, with just a few guys being double-digit scorers in Nel Ipulan, who has compiled 37 points this conference, and Carl Rosette, who is, by the way, not playing today because of personal reasons. Coach RJ has realized that he needs to manage his expectations even with the small things, like when they serve, jump float na lang instead of jump serve, just so they don't waste the opportunity. Migs and Jamie. Thank you, Mika. So it's managing expectations even more for Rich Mark in our conference as now they score from the left pin. And for you to not have Girl Rosette in this game, yes. you're going to feel that. This goes to show that, I mean, volleyball is a team sport. Everyone has to contribute, whether it's coming from the left pin, the middle, and the right. But it always starts with that first pass mix. The defense and receive is very crucial in the game of volleyball. Oh, nice mm. block by Borch <laughs> Castell. That drops. Castell timing that perfectly on that solo block here. I mean, the ball, the rebound was actually not that low. Venus could still have gotten that first dig. Yeah. But Bunch definitely loved that as it dropped. The chase, Ooh, nice. he's still alive. Chance ball for VNS. They go to Wewe, the top uh, scorer of the Griffins in this conference. Wewe Medina, that shining star here of VNS. He is in the front row. It's important that they maximize him. But let's take a look and look at the location of the set. This is the set he like, likes, Mix. The set that's not too far off the net. The set that's not too close to the net. Just allowing that space in between. Now it's a three-point advantage for VNS. Mm. Ooh, was that a miss hit? That was down. Well, Either way, <laughs> RMS will take it. With the help of the net, it's a point for them. Break it down. It was a tough angle. It was evident that he was going to go for that sharp cross-court attack. Medina not ready. Also with the help of the net as well. Lead down to two. 10 to 8. Miscue. Miscue. Chance ball for RMS. Dakles onto the slide. Read perfectly. One more time. Wow, great net defense by BNS. The set of Dakles is a little bit too inside of the antenna. The set needs to be a little bit near the antenna, so he has the option of going down the line or cross court because the blocking of uh, VNS Nasty is reading it easily. So we have to look at the location of the set of Dakles. Let's see if RJ actually can... Uh, Not what over. should I say? Oh, yeah, the ball doesn't get over. Let's see if RJ can actually respond to what Jamie is saying here at the sideline. But now we have a timeout. Huwag kayo mga pagmalakasan. Mga pagpagalingan kayo. Yung isang bounce ball, isa lang yan eh. Tsaka drop ball, isang puntos lang naman yan eh. Huwag kanya, mga pagkutakan kayo. Tsaka may pasa tayo. May pasa ako sa baby. Jesus Mario said. Pataas ako, ang dak mahaba lang. Sumunod mo na tayo ha. Walang sa likod tayo. Ano na yun? Now Mika did talk about managing expectations but if you're seeing these errors on the court, of course, you'd feel that in intensity and frustration from Coach RJ. Yes, Coach RJ was telling his squad in the timeout, you don't need to have the most powerful attack because sometimes in men's volleyball, you want to go for that baon. But unfortunately, it's not always about power. It's about placement. It's about using your smarts, especially against a team like VNS. You have that triple block that we just noticed. You got to be smart. You have to manage your emotions. But I do feel the frustration coming from Coach RJ. Well, BNS actually is supposed to be part of the bottom in terms of blocking. So if, it, if it's working for them in this game, to go alongside the fact that they're number one in digging, mm, then yes. it's going to be tough for yes. RMS. That's right. Wewe well, Medina on the cross. Well, well, Medina. With BNS, they are able to get an immediate side out. Luckily for Medina, now being on that right pin. But now he's about to serve. But this is what I was saying earlier, Megs. You have to play smart. You have to activate your strongest uh, spiker. And that's Wewe Medina. Two points now for Wewe in this game. Make it three. It's actually a lucky point from Wewe Medina. The serve is actually going outside. Unfortunately, the receive here. Faulty coming from Richmark. Let's take a look at the sequence. Normally, when the serve is above your shoulders, the ball sails out. So these are some basic tricks, mm. I would say. It's because we talk about it that sometimes 
if you're not sure whether it's in or, uh, in or out, you just put the yes. ball up. But then again, that's a good angle. You do have a nice angle here at the sideline. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, tough Ooh. dig. That goes outside for VNS. Versailles going for that cross court attack, targeting that corner pocket here of zone five. I mean, this is what we need coming from RMS. More production coming in the attacking column. Now 10, serving 14. Bonch Castell doing the honors. Champion himself with Perpetual. Sharp serve. Back set. Oh, they got a hand. VNS will score once more. Advienta going from that right pin down the line, targeting the defense here of Richmark. He's going down the line. A lack of press on that block of Richmark. But Nick, when you look at both squads, VNS and Richmark, it's a mixture of both vets, both um, young guns. So let's see the perfect mix. I mean, both teams have all the ingredients it takes to be a great team, but it's how you utilize it. It's how you uh, have the perfect strategy. Oh, there you go. The perfect strategy in the previous sequence for Richmark Sports. It's Rosales who gets the point. You see um, successful attacking coming from the left pin on that cross-court attack coming from Richmond. Acer Rosales getting a good start after coming off the bench in the previous outing, scoring three points versus PG JC Navy. Now we just saw a substitution. James Balisi is in. Ipulan serving that ball inside. And here's VNS with Ronnie at Viento. Ball up for RMS. Good chance for the black shirts. Wendy Medina faking the attack. <laughs> nice set. But we shall continue. Oh, nice cover. And still there. Free ball. Balmoria. Castaneda. Back row. Wewe. Tipping it over. Smart attack. These are some smart plays coming from Wewe Medina in the back row. And that will send us to our second technical timeout. Lagi kong hindi makakalimutan na kay Coach Oji nung college ako. Uh, na lagi niyang sinasabi sa akin, kapag nagawa mo na isang bagay, ibig sabihin kaya mo. So kailangan maging consistent ka sa bagay na yun. Hindi mo siya pwedeng nagawa ng isang beses lang or chamba lang. So kailangan mo siya maging consistent sa bagay na yun. Coach, eh, <laughs> thank you sa pag-guide sa akin. And konti dahil sa'yo, wala. wala ako dito. And even sa coaching ko, matadala ko. If I may add to that, in the words of Webe Medina, kay Coach Oji Mamon talaga, tumibay ang loob ko sa sport ng volleyball. As by the way, awesome live sports viewing is guaranteed with Signal yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Switch now and get up to three months with no cash out. Visit www.signal.tv slash switch for more details. As now, Kaiser Rosales scores again for RMS. But Mix, I like what Wewe Medina was saying earlier on that little clip that we just saw. I mean, consistency is the name of the game. And he did say how, I mean, you could have one strong attack, but it's how you're able to sustain the ones after that. You can't have one attack, but then you commit how many errors, right? And both teams had 24 errors. The other team had 32 errors. So it's very important that you minimize the unforced errors because sometimes teams are giving away free points. Mm -hmm. And knowing his responsibility for VNS, that consistency really has to be top-notch. Mm, Great effort by Medina. And now <laughs> that's off the block for VNS. Bartolome scores. Bartolome tooling the block here. Simple attack, but it's all coming from Weber Medina's perfect coverage. 
being very reactive. This is the definition of teamwork. You have Weber Medina in the back helping with the coverage, allowing his other spikers to shine. It's now 17 serving 12. Kulabat. That is in. What a serving day so far for KC. KC cornering that pocket there in zone five. I mean, this was the serve that RMC really needed to get. I mean, targeting that corner pocket. Off of that ace, it's now 18 to 12. Kulabat, this time it's lower. In high risk, high reward. Usually that happens mixed when a uh, player has a serve, an ace, and then it's followed by a miss serve. Yeah. Maybe adrenaline <laughs> rush. Right. <laughs> Too much emotion. Well, you'll take that if you're KC, as opposed to what happened in the previous game when it was mostly errors. As VNS scores again. Good for them to recover quickly. Yes, immediate side out. Nothing too fancy. The set was a bit too tight, but luckily he was able to get that tip over the block. We need more urgency coming from the side of RMS. It's Bartolome with another point. Palen back sets. Ooh, nice dig. And here comes VNS, Bartolome. Ball put up by Carlo Almario, who again yells to his spiker. Still no point, a push. You can really hear Carlo's voice yes. all over. Kulabat. On to Wewe Medina, he had to recalculate. Tough dig. But it's still good. Imperial back sets. Bartolome quite tight. The longest rally continues. Imperial, same guy, different result. Bartolome coming from the right pin this time. I have to commend both squads. Beautiful defense, a lot of urgency. But it all ended with that rally coming from the right pin. Take a look at that flight, that lead, that elevation. We need better blocking coming from the side of RMS. More uh, unison in terms of that block. Bartolome has already surpassed this previous game output of only one point. Off to a great start. Now this is a chance for RMS. An attack from the right, dug up by Kulabat. Imperial, it's quite tight. But Medina was still able to make something out of nothing. Now we have another timeout. The lead is eight points. Now, looking at the body language of RMS in this game, do you think the fact that they only train two to three times in a week, as reported by Mika, is kind of showing off right now yes. its effects? Well, RMS looks a little bit exhausted coming from that timeout. I mean, the only way to improve, to better your craft, is to have a lot of trainings. Mm -hmm. And how you train is how you play. So there needs to be a little bit more effort coming from the side of RMS because they're playing against a team who is slowly getting their groove. They are uh, a bit shaky as well in terms of miscues, miscommunications, but I mean, this is where RMS has to ignore the outside factors of not having enough training and just play. Oh, was that a nice net. response? Well, it was a net touch net by touch. VNS. Free point goes to RMS. This is, uh, they actually needed that point. Maybe, maybe this can boost their momentum. They need some sort of spark plug coming from their squad. There's the net touch, touch right. by Jester Burnell. So now we have Richmark sending that ball in. Oh, Imperial, nice one-handed set, but it's read perfectly oh, by Bonch Castell. Castell reading that A quick attack. I mean, Castell has the height, he has the might. You have to utilize it. That's why the middles are called middle blockers for a reason. They don't need to attack all the time. They got to focus on their main goal, which is blocking. Two straight points for Richmark Sports. Balmoria with a receive. Nice Medina, wow, what a play. You know, we haven't talked about Imperial setting up his offense smoothly, being that playmaker here for VNS. I mean, the reason why Medina can have a perfect execution is because of the setting of Imperial. Imagine, look, no block coming from the side of RMS. 
Would you say that it's faster yes. when yes. Imperial is on the yes. court? Yes. yes, much faster. The set is faster, meaning the block of RMS has to be much quicker. Mm -hmm. But that also means that the offense of VNS is faster. Is faster yes. swing, especially yes. with the set that's lower and faster. That was a shoot set coming from Imperial earlier. Let's see the previous sequence, a miss received. Right. We haven't talked about the serving too much of VNS. Very strong serves, not uh, easily read by RMS. At least their extra work paid off in this past Kim week. Milan now the block sails outside for Wewe Medina. Medina uh, reacting that block motion. He knew what he did wrong in that sequence. What did he do wrong? His left arm was a little bit outside. He needs to put the ball, his hands rather, a bit more inward. These are the things that um, is learned in training. Yeah. You know, sometimes I wish that there's actually a camera here in front of Jamie La Vittoria <laughs> because she does a lot of uh, <laughs> examples here at the <laughs> sideline with her gestures. <laughs> a lot of movements. It helps me talk as yeah. well. It, helped me get, it helps me get the word out. Right. And I hope everybody can visualize it as Ronnie Adviento scores for VNS and now it's eight set points. Adviento going, coming now from the left pin. No blocking found on the side of RMS. Now we have a substitution for VNS. Martision checks in. And Jamie, this guy is 14 years old. Well, half my age, that's for sure. <laughs> I did not want to bring up our age, but it's out there. As now it's a... Uh, oh, napaaga si Wewe. Wala pang whistle ang ating first referee too excited. Well, service errors. Uh, VNS already has three, and but VNS has three aces. Okay, high risk, so high reward it is. It's a 0-0 zero, zero coming from the service line. Oh, mm, nice Castell. Take. No point, and here's Marty Sean, quite low. No more recovery for VNS. But they really wanted that yes, option. Yes, yes, especially because they're only one point away from getting the first set. That's coming from a tough angle though. Coming from the bench, it's not the easiest. We see Coach Ralph fielding in more of the bench because they have some sort of cushion. They're one point away from their first set win of the conference. That's a double contact coming from Castaneda. Right idea for going um, for that reverse set. He's going for that reverse set back row. I'll let you break that down even more later on. Yes. But we have to continue here. 18-24, Valmoria receives. And from the left in, Martichon could not score. The counter. Mm. Yes, Rosales will score. Yes. Rosales shifting his body, Martichon. that pivot. It looked like he was going for that cross-court attack, but it went for that down the line. So VNS tried with a certain rotation, but now Casey Kulabat has to return for them. VNS with six errors and RMS with three errors in this first set. But with VNS, they are able to attack better, even if they have more errors. Back set, Roni Adviento mm. blocked. <laughs> oh <boy. laughs> See, oh. VNS having a difficult time now with their attacking. And we're going to hear the voice of Coach Ralph Ocampo for the first time. <laughs> Play one, kite play one. Go, 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 but it's good that Coach JP de Guzman is always there. They're usually together. Just so everybody knows, Coach Ralph has an under-18 program for VNS. He's coaching high school and he's coaching college as well. He's that busy. 24-20, RMS down by four. Castell sending that ball in. Kulabat with a receive. He gets it back, and there's the finisher. Kulabat <laughs> coming off the bench just in this latter part of the first set. I, mean, I would consider him one of the vets here coming from VNS when 
you have a vet in the front row, you gotta maximize the player that has the hot hands. I like that you pointed that out because Casey technically is a rookie for BNS. Yes, but has the smarts of a vet. There you go. After all, he was one of the stars of UE back in his day. This is the first set win of BNS in our open conference in the Spiker Stir. Sinabi lang na enjoyin yung, yung pagka-atleta ngayon kasi di naman kami habang buhay atleta kami. Kasi totoo din naman, <laughs> tatanda, tatanda rin naman. Kasi ang feeling ko patapos na rin ako sa career. Gusto ko na rin mag-graduate, makapag-trabaho ng normal kasi itong volleyball, uh, one step, ano lang tayo sa amin para makapag-explore kami ng mga bagay na makakamit namin in the future. So, nagpapasalamat kami. You have to love the gratitude mindset of Kenry Malinis, Malinis, but also you have to recognize the realistic mindset of his. After all, he's out for the conference right. as he's back with his studies face-to-face -face in National University. So, we wish him the best of luck in his career. Alam naman natin, Jamie, volleyball is not forever. You are a perfect example. Look at your yes. transition. You're now here at the sideline. <laughs> <laughs> but Jamie, please talk about uh, set number one. Your thoughts about that. BNS was able to attack perfectly coming from the left pin in Kulabat and Medina. That's all because of the perfect receive, the setting of Imperial, knowing who to set at the right time, knowing the perfect set that his teammates want, want rather, but on the side of Richmark, they have better digging, they have the receive. Unfortunately, their attacks are not being converted into point. And going up against a team like VNS, who is slowly gaining that chemistry, they need to have better execution on the attack. But take a look at the disparity here on your screens here. 10 attack points from RMS and 17 on the side of VNS. But you see VNS actually has more errors, three more compared to RMS. But with VNS, we have Medina with seven points. And the highest score of RMS is Rosales in only four. So you see that's not enough coming from RMS. And again, there's no Curl Rosette in this game for them. See who can step up. A pula, nice cross court hit, but it's dug up. It's straight outside. And Mario faked everybody. I'm so confused as to why players do that. I'd be so nervous <laughs> touching that ball. Imagine if you First had touched the ball. Then. Yes. <laughs> well, he's a veteran yes. after all. Yes. Carlo Almario, by the way, back in his UE days, was the best libero. Well, he is getting a lot of balls coming from. Yeah. Ooh, what a hit by Wewe Medina. Talk about firepower coming from the left pin, from the right pin. But they have to utilize him early on because by the second rotation, he's about to serve. So this is where he is now in the back row. And this is where I believe the... Yes, that's right. More offensive weapons coming from the front row here. Kulaba. Ooh, Kulaba to the easy good. ball. Great effort by RMS. A chance for VNS. Mm, back, back row. row. Mm. You were talking about the options at the front for VNS, but we can't forget about that back row hit of Wilbe Medina. But I think Rich Mark is... Oh, honesty. I'm yeah. loving the honesty. Got to save that challenge. Two, I believe. That's right. So set. They just did an Elsa. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> if you're Coach Arjay Francisco. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> 
You know what? Usually the older analysts would be the one to reference that because wow. they do watch the show with their children. With their kids, that's right. So now we have another point, and it's RMS getting it a deadlock at two. Bosch Castell now doing the honors. Oh, that's low. You knew it, JB. The toss was a bit low, but you know, you have eight seconds to serve. You can take your time. It could also be the nerves, I guess, the adrenaline rush as well. So VNS gets the advantage once more. Three to two. Jester Burnell back and forth on service errors. Jack Burnell with that miss serve coming from. A jump serve, I would say. But both teams, they need some sort of spark plug to gain that momentum. But at the same time, when you have the momentum mix, you got to sustain that. That's inside for Ipulan. Attack from the middle. And it's outside yeah. for Doria. The set was a bit too low for that A quick attack on Doria. We're literally going back and forth here. Right. Four serving three. Ipulan inside. Wewe receives. Castaneda to the middle. Mm, Kabawe. Yep. My Nothing too fancy. My Not always about power, but placement. We were talking about this earlier mix in terms of oh. using your smarts. The block was there on the side of RMS. Just tipped it over. A power tip at that. And I'm sure as a setter, you also share that same mindset wherein you give the ball to the yeah. guy who recently made yeah. a mistake. As now Rosales gets a retribution. And this is the first time we're seeing a combination play coming from the side of Rich Mark. I, mean, I think they need to do more of these, especially coming from that first attack, which is holding the block here of BNS. But make what you were saying earlier, yes, if, uh, if I know my player um, missed their attack or had a hitting error, I would like to set them the ball once more so they gain that confidence. As that ball goes outside, and we might have a challenge here. You know, the players are honest with the attack going okay. outside. Yep. That's the some, honesty here. And some good sense of communication yes. between the coaches and players. Right, right. Rosales has four points. Kolabat off the block. I have to commend the setting of Castaneda. He is actually jumping with the middle blocker here on the side of BNS, which is fooling the blocking here of RMS. We did see him have two attack points right. in the opening yeah. set. It's now five serving six. Casey Kolabat. He's been serving well so far. Mm. And as Mix. I say that. You jinxed it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Casey. <laughs> Kanina tinitig niya na ako. Eh, proud na siya. Eh, kasi pinugusapan namin yan before this game that he has to fix his serves. The amount of errors that he had was just a lot in their previous outing. He's going to talk to you after this match. Maybe. <laughs> Adviento from the back, still no point. Counter, back row, inside for Ipulan. Hear the added rejoice, the joy coming from the side of RMS. This is what the players need to be a little bit more upbeat. First technical timeout, RMS on top. Back at the NR Sports Arena for your Spikers Turf 2024. And apparently, the VNS boys and their coaches all live in the same building. On the top floor are their rooms, and just below are their court and gym somewhere in Novaliches. They basically see each other every day, train every day. Also, this is the first time ever since they joined the Spikers Turf that they lost three straight games. So you would think, why are they in this situation when they have all the time in the world compared to other teams? The coaches said that it's just really in the end when, the, when trouble happens. They played well against the D Navigators from start to mid-match. 
match but failed to finish. We also have to take into consideration that their last three opponents were Criss Cross, Savage, and the Navigators. So I would cut them some slack. Mix and Jamie. Well, we also tough. give BNS some slack. That tough. is a tough schedule. Tough. <laughs> even, Heavy though, load. even though they have uh, the opposite of the story of Rich Mark, which yes. only trains twice or thrice a week. Ito magkakasama na mga to. Actually, I did have a conversation with Webe Medina before this game. I asked him, napansin ko na the huddles of Coach Ralph Ocapo isn't too technical. It's a lot of motivation. It's a lot of napag-usapan naman natin sa practice. Yes. Nagawa na natin yan. And he said, it's because of that time together. Really more of nothing new for us to talk about here. Just go back to the basics and our system. I mean, Migs, when you notice a coach that doesn't speak so much, that's because these players should already know what to do when it comes to game time. I said this earlier, when it comes to practice, how you play is how you, how you train is how you play. So these players, whether you're 14, whether you're in your mid-20s, you should be learning how the game goes. Your coach can't always teach you. I mean, it really happens through experience, through the growing pains, through wins and losses. Now it is 11 to 7 off of another service error. So it's becoming another problem, or a problem once again for VNS in this matchup. Service on the other end, Dakles sending it in. Castaneda to the quick, that went wide. The issue here on the side of VNS, their attacks are being converted into errors, I would say. They're having a difficult time getting that side out, whereas RMS is being more consistent. There's more communication coming from their side. A good response after their first set loss. They're up by five. Misreceived. Medina, he's that good. Right, right. He has the hot hands, but unfortunately, he is up to serve. He was not maximized as he was here in the front row which goes to show that the passing of BNS seems to be a little bit more better, I would say. Because in the first set, stable first ball, stable, stable defense. Medina is now in double figures, by the way. Ten points and nine attacks. Rosales able to read the defense perfectly. Rosales with that last second decision and going for that tip. And the tip was not even that low mix. There needs to be more execution coming from the side of BNS. Take a, look, take a look at the location of the tip. Not too high, not too low. A diggable play. Coach RJ was happy about it. He gave an instant high five to his attacker. As Kulaba now gets some retribution. Not only that, but a little strut after that attack. <laughs> he is in the front row. It's important that Castaneda maximizes him. He has the hot hands, but also there's an option with Medina coming from the back row. Bornell. Inside the Guzman, puts it up. Oh, a miscue between two players of RMS. Chance on the other end. Casey Gulabat sending it over. Right pin hit. Ipulan long. Ipulan with that air coming from the right pin. Lack of verse action in the sequence. Yenes is slowly catching up. Let's see if Richmark Sports can actually respond. Well, Ipulan, we did feature her, him in the pregame earlier. The lone score in double digits with 10. Actually, the sky's the limit for that guy because recently a lot of people have been pressed about him as RMS commits a mistake. One last fact about Ipulan, he recently got an invite to become a part of our beach volleyball national wow. team. Interesting. Yeah, let's see if he can improve his game in that uh, side of volleyball no, 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 as we have no, no, a timeout. No, 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 no. Hey, pass na naman eh. Okay, tapusin natin. Pagkapalo, hindi nyo na natapos. Para magdepensahan. Magtulog kanina, namin sa sublang, nag-celebrate ka agad. Diba? Eh, napalo. Di puntos, puntos nila. Diba? Akin tayo ba? Oo, ha? Let's go, ayun ba? Sige. Alright, so before this game, we talked about errors as the theme for Rich Mark Sports and VNS in their previous outings. How about this game? How's it going so far? Well, in set number two, VNS already tallies seven errors, whereas RMS has three errors. VNS, seven errors is already a lot. But yeah, we're only halfway done. Right. But they also had more errors in set number one. That's right. 
it's good that they were able to offset it with their attacks as Kulabat sends that ball long. There's no touch. Kulabat so tried to go for that long ball attack, just tried to touch the hands of that blocking or tried to go for that sweet spot in zone 5 and 6, but a lack of wrist action in that sequence. It's now 14, serving 11. Unforced errors. You see them on the screen right now. 7-2, to two. Castaneda, back row, it's low. That was too low coming from Castaneda, especially from an attack coming from Medina in the back row. Right idea of giving the ball to Medina, but that was a bit too low. So we're back with Nel Ipulan. Sharp serve, a better receive. And here's Ronnie at Viento, what a hit. Now makes it to what we were saying earlier. That is a reverse set coming from Castaneda. So Castaneda was actually near the antenna, the left pin. So he pushed the ball out. Let's take a look at your screens here. That is called a reverse set. Castaneda is near here, so he was able to give that space. So that's why the blocking was laid on the side of RMS. So that brings me back to my question in the first set, as Guadalupe could not score. What makes setting the hardest? What factor? Well, not only the location of your set, but it's the discarte. It's who to setting at, who to set at the right time. But also, another consideration for setters, they have to know the blockers on the other side. So you don't only need to know your side, but you need to know the blocking of your side. There are times when your attacker has two blockers in the front row. Of course, your setter won't give the ball to the attacker with two blockers. But yes. There are some occasions where it occurs. So that's when it's the spiker that needs to adjust. Because, okay. of course, the, the, the attacker can expect a perfect execution with just one block. Many cases that can occur. What if you have a red hot attacker? Would you still consider how many blockers that uh, attacker has? No. Now there seems to be a, a miscue on who the proper server is. Richmark was really <laughs> fired certain up about that. Here. Okay, so this gives us time for you to answer my question. You would red hot, red hot attacker. You give it to them regardless. Okay. Because you give them that trust, you. You've mastered that tandem, the fact that they have the hot hands is because you're constantly feeding that attacker the ball. So it's now up to the attacker to tool that block as well. So basically, you have the same mindset as Ish Polvorosa. Yes, one of the best here in the league. It is a rotational fault. We have 16 points on the board now, so we have our second technical timeout. Arena Plus, a Stigs of Sports. We are inside the United Sports Arena in Pasig City for your Spiker Sturf, Sturf, Spiker Sturf Open Conference 2024 on Pilipinas Live. This is VNS versus RMS. And now, Richmark Sports 3B Elite is looking to extend this matchup already. They've only experienced one extended game to which they lost in four sets. Everything else was three set losses for them. For VNS, this is their first extended game of the conference as Bartolome scores at the left pin. Bartolome going for that down the line, but when you look at both teams' mix, I mean, they're at the bottom of the standings, so this is definitely a match that we are looking forward to covering because it will really prove who will get that first win, who has learned from their mistakes, who has learned and executed from their training. There's a block point for VNS. 
getting a little, right? yeah. <laughs> getting a little bit serious over here. <laughs> well, that's one good thing that things are getting louder inside yes. the United Sports Arena. You noticed it in the first set. The body language was totally different for our miss. Definitely a, a shift. But let's talk about the errors here for RMS with three, VNS with 10, five from attacking and four from serving. So that's already a lot of yeah. errors, but they're able to execute in their attacking. Whereas RMS, they have less errors, but not enough attack points. So it's just that it's been a built up issue already for VNS having 32 errors in their mm, previous that's outing. That's definitely inside. <laughs> this is the passion coming from RMS here. <laughs> They're down one set. Well, let's hope that that won't frustrate them. There's a double sub about to come in. Palen returns. And this guy also played in the first set, Kim Melanes. Or Melanes. It's Daklis and Rosales who will take a breather. For VNS, now they have a chance to tie. 15 serving 16. Here we go. That's inside. Regalo. Too easy yes. for Webe. Yep, too easy. Coming from Webe Medina. He is in the front row. He is able to maximize on that early gift. Here, the RMS needs to work on better execution coming from that first ball, that overpass. These are the minute details that need to be fixed here. That's a better pass. Melania is no blocker mm, in front dig. of him. Oh, <laughs> double contact. <laughs> Everybody caught it. Love the enthusiasm coming <laughs> from RMS. But got to commend the digging here from VNS and Alfred. <laughs> Imperial had a look to the RMS pitch. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Can't hide that one. <laughs> Balisi returns. He will be serving now for Richmark Sports. 17-16. Ball inside. Pagulong receives. Imperial back set. Nice elevation. Talk about firepower coming from Bartolome. The right pin. Let's take a look at the location at the set. And he, mind you, Mix, he's not the tallest of attackers, but he has the lead, he has the flight, and that firepower. And he seems to really have that connection with yes. Imperial. Right, right. The tandem has is slow, slowly being mastered here. After all, they are that double sub for BNS. Where we Medina on the cross. <laughs> Almario having a difficult time. You could feel his frustration. He was there on that attack coming from Webe Medina. That cross-court attack. Also, we have to take a look at that blocking of RMS. A little bit disorganized in that sequence. Melanias blocked. Now VNS is looking good. 19-17. We have a timeout. Come back complete so far for VNS. Let's take a look at the previous sequence. Another block. Mm, Bartolome, he already has eight points and two blocks. That's 60% attack efficiency. Off the bench. Wow. Talk about Magic Puno, talk about Spark Plug. Because I said this earlier in the pregame, it cannot just be Weber, Medina, Kula, but you cannot win alone. Service inside, a miss received. Mm. How about Alfred Pagulo having one good stretch here? You would think that the timing of Coach RJ would ice the server in Doria, but it actually did the opposite. He served. Yeah, excuse me, it was Michael Doria. Now serves again, and he gets another ace. Coach RJ not too happy with what he's seeing. 
So now their body language is shifting back. Right, right. But this is where the growing pains come. This is where you have to control your mindset. Your mind has to be stronger than your emotions. As we see VNS taking advantage here. And not only is RMS committing a lot of errors, but VNS is also earning their points in attacking as well. 21-17, that's a badly needed point by Bon Castell. Castell with that A quick attack, a much needed point coming from RMS. But let's see, make that they're able to sustain this. Oh, that's a beat quick attack. But on the side of VNS Medina, he had a 60% attack efficiency in the first set and now set to an 86 attack efficiency. Wow. 12 out of 17 for wow. Weber Medina. Talk about big numbers. Was there sounding? What was that about? Wrong server. All right, we're just going to replay this one. VNS was already celebrating because they were the ones who had the wrong server just a while ago. So let's redo this. Mel Clarence de Guzman. Ball up by Pagulong, a former libero. Wewe Medina, 13 mm. attack points. City practice coming from Wewe Medina, whether he's from the left pin or the right pin. I mean, Castaneda and the setter Imperial are maximizing him when he's in the front row. He has the hot hands, and not only the hot hands, he makes but the consistency. He did talk about consistency in that clip earlier. You could have one point, but if it's followed by a lot of errors. But with Medina, this is a different story. Might I say, it's good to have him back at this form. Yes. He's playing at such a high level. And with a lot of confidence as well. No hesitation in his movements, not second-guessing himself. Well, he did say that the game has slowed down for him as now VNS gets another block point. Ulan being silenced by the blocking here of VNS. We featured him earlier. Take a look at that triple block. Perfect unison, very organized. Unfortunately, if Ulan was trapped in that sequence. And that's one of the benefits of having Ronnie at Viento at opposite Spiker. Mm. As now the slide works for RMS. RMS Castell with that short running attack. We've noticed that the side outs of RMS is coming from a middle blocker on first attack, meaning RMS needs to activate the middle blockers early on because it's getting a bit... Um, VNS is reading the offense of RMS because it's all the left pin and the right pin. So to fool the blocking of VNS, RMS needs to add more execution from the middle blockers. Let's see if they can activate Bonch Castell, but Ronnie Adviento was recently activated. Now they have five set points. Medina serving with a smile. Sharp serve. Back set. Ipula down what the line. A dig. What a dig. And here comes Wewe pushing that ball. Chance for the purple shirts. Ipula again. Now he prevails. Ipula coming from the right pin. You can feel the added um from that attack. Too much power, too much aggression here. Block of VNS a bit late in that sequence. So it's one set point save. When the Lupe returns, he's now the middle blocker in front for Rich Mark. Oh, a misreceive. Nice save by Pagulo. A chance for RMS, Guadalupe, right on cue. Right. This is what I was saying earlier. There needs to be more production coming from the middles here. Guadalupe with that eight quick attack. Soft touch in that sequence. Another set point save. Casey Colabat returns. That's for defense. Here's Sponge Castell. 21-24. Safe serve in. Castaneda, Colaba to finish the set. Not yet. Pitch mark. Ooh, another block. Good chance for VNS. Castaneda. Nice Back set to Ronnie. Cross court. And a person from the crowd was ready to dig that ball up. <laughs> Adviento coming from the right pin. Ending that rally smoothly. Going for that sharp cross court attack. In the defense of RMS not ready. 
So it's two sets down for Coach Ralph Ocampo in our Spiker Surf Open Conference. Can they actually get a sweep? We'll be back for set number three. Serve or receive? Uh, receive. Pizza or pasta? Pizza. Practice or rest? Practice. City tour or beach vacation? Beach vacation. Monster block or fireball? Monster block. Pancake or puto? Puto. Taylor Swift or Beyonce? Beyonce. <laughs> I personally do not agree with RG Jackless. <laughs> with which one? Which one, Meg? <laughs> the last question. Taylor Swift or Beyonce? But You're Swifty. I'm a Swifty. Are you not? I am not. not I am not. Okay, so this ends our coverage for today. <laughs> Bye, you guys. <laughs> the game is actually over. <laughs> By the way, a big shout out to Jet Montebon for making that feature possible for us. Jamie, set two thoughts. I mean, BNS well-oiled machine, a lot of firepower coming from the left pin, from the middles. Imperial, Castaneda running the offense smoothly, but Weber Medina already with 14 points, but with RMS, they have a difficult time in terms of execution. They are a new team, so this is understandable. These are the growing pains that come with being a new team, but we have to talk about the attacks here in the second set. 10 coming from Rich Mark and 17 coming from VNS. You see that disparity, seven more attack points from VNS. But take a look at the blocks and the serves category. Completely dominant with VNS with three blocks and two from the service line. But you see that they have 11 errors, which came from serves attacking airs but luckily they had attacks that were able to overpower it but talking about attacking here rms we have seven coming from rosales and that is the only player that has the highest rms not even reaching in the double digits here mm -hmm. whereas vns medina has 14 bartolome with eight adviento with seven so you see the offense is spread out smoothly coming from the side of VNS. Uh, we did talk about the percentage as well of Weber Medina. He has been highly efficient so yes. far in this game. But I can't help but just really highlight the errors. These are usually Eleven. the, the narratives that if you're VNS, if you're going up against a tough team, you can't have that right. at all. Right. But luckily with their attacking, their attacking is... Well, just like that, that combination play early on coming from Castaneda running his office offense smoothly. I mean, Weber Medina on fire, on a roll. And of course, you improve as you play. He has a lot of playing time, but it could also be that he has a lot of playing time but commits a lot of errors. Mm -hmm. But he has the high efficiency and consistency, a theme that he did talk about in that clip. Adieto sending that ball through, but that <laughs> went wide. He immediately yeah, knew it. Yeah, he knew it. He knew it. And Coach Ralph has a smile on his face. I think that was a smirk, not a, a smile. <laughs> <laughs> a better way to describe yeah. it. One I'll let all. you have it. It's early on in the third set. That's it's right. okay. <laughs> Bartolome. Kulabat. Wow. Mm. Tough chase. Ooh. And 
Oh, that was a miscue between Dakles and Bunch. Well, this is the silly mistakes that is coming from the side of RMS. Can't have that when you're down two sets. Could have been really easy for Bunch Castell, but it became awkward with that approach by his setter. Bornell sending that ball in. Oh, that was a tough mm, play. Nice reflex. And here comes Casey Gulabat. Cross court. Almario digging it up. Attack from the open. Medina with the dig. Comfortably at that. Casey again. Cross mm. court. A bit <laughs> sharp, but that's outside. Oh, tough angle coming from Gulabat, but I love the intensity, the aggression coming from that attack. Gotta commend Medina for being very reactive, getting the balls, getting that first touch in that defense. Well, Medina has been an all-around player so far in our league. You mentioned his digging, but he's actually top 10 in receiving, serving, and scoring oh. so far. I mean, these are all the qualities it makes to have a great open spiker here. Very reliable, very trustworthy, especially when he's in the front row. Also, in terms of his back row attack. Making coach Oji Mamun ever so proud as that is short for Eugenio. I mean, it's important that RMS find some sort of spark plug. We need an emotional leader coming from their side because there's a lot of leaders coming from the side of VNS. We have Kulabat, Medina, the setters Castaneda, Imperial. Mm, oh, nice yeah, block. Smart play. Smart play. De Guzman. I actually dropped on the side yes. of VNS. That's a smart play coming from that off speed attack. It's earlier, not always about power, but placement. Ooh. Right. <laughs> Just as we were praising him. Now a miss received by Wewe Medina. Eugenio with that early ace serve, ace serve targeting Medina in that sequence. That's Jonathan Eugenio, one of the three Eugenio brothers playing for RMS. Kulaban, what a strong <laughs> hit. <laughs> and the walk off. Too much firepower coming from the side of Kulaban. And also timely attack, especially now he's up to serve. Tough, tough. <laughs> Five to four, KC serving. Five points to his name. Oh, and Mario struggled on that one. Chance for VNS. One, two. two Third good. attack point for Castaneda. Too deceiving with that one, two play. Very calm, very calm, collected uh, aura, I would say, coming from Castaneda. Nothing too flashy. Knowing that there's a hole, that donor's hole in the defense of RMS. Back to back points for VNS to answer back on the mini run of Richmart Sports. Almario miss receives again. A hit from the left, the Feria putting it up. Castaneda, Medina off the block. We have Kulabin in the back row, and now we have Medina now in the back row. A lot of weapons, a lot of firepower options for VNS. But let's see if they are able to sustain this. This is a test for them, even if they're up by two sets, whereas RMS, I'm sure, wants to extend this match. Oh, another miss receive. A service ace for Casey Gulaban. There's that smile again from KC. Eight to four is our score.
Ruben Medina is converting his frustration on losing games to this performance today with 16 points and 15 attacks so far. He understands the big role and he also understands that you don't choose the opponent you show it to. Chris Cross, Savoj, Dinav or Richmark, he will be the same. So adjustment would be on the other team when it comes to him. But just like Jamie said earlier, he can't do it alone. The challenge would really be help from his teammates. Today, that would be Bertolome. He said it's really a process incorporating everybody, but as a coach himself, he stays patient while controlling his errors. Makes and Jamie. There you go. So, uh, Mika actually anticipated this Bartolome bit of an explosion off the bench for VNS. That's right. I mean, a lot of firepower coming from the left pin, the right pin, Bartolome, helping Wewe Medina, helping Ken Kulaban. I mean, talk about the options here for VNS. But if you want to talk about options, we have to talk about their center. Yes. What can you say so far about Castaneda? I mean, Castaneda already has four points. That's a lot coming from a setter being very offensive with 11 excellent sets, whereas Douglas has zero. He has not gone for that one-two play. Maybe that's also not his style of doing that one-two play, but he only has five excellent sets. And being now that we're in the third set, that is a bit too low, whereas an excellent set is actually a subjective stat. So it's not necessarily a set with an immediate, po immediate point. It just depends on the statistician who gauges what an excellent Okay, as now we Take note. <laughs> just got to see uh, Mike Doria point off the block. That makes me ask you, as a setter, do you actually have like a target for yourself that you want to reach this number? No, never. Okay. Never, as long as I give my spikers the set that they want. And you have to be a setter that's very approachable. You don't want to have a a setter where your spikers are afraid to tell you, hey, can you make the set a bit lower? Can you make it higher? You want to have that good connection, good um, tandem with your spikers. You don't really think too much of the, the your points, own numbers. your own numbers. Well, Medina is building up his numbers here in this game. 12 to 4, we have a timeout. <laughs> Yung buka na, isa ko yun buong barangay nyo. Wala, hamang lumalayo, kahinayo pa natin eh. Mayroon siya na, mayroon siya May pasa naman eh. Okay. Tapos, GJ, penetrate. Penetrate. Kasi hinahaba lang yung buka, hinahaba yung palo eh. Diyan. Go, go. Sila, 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 Webby Medina's numbers, by the way, are 17 points, 11 excellent receptions, and 4 excellent digs. We're talking off-air about whether or not he can still reach Puede. a triple-double. Whether he needs 6 more digs. digs, but of course that's very hard to gauge. Yeah. yeah. Um, you don't want to get the digs of your own <laughs> of course. Uh, teammate because that could lead to a error as well. Mm -hmm. But let's just see. We're still early in this third set. But Moria receives. Here's Doria from the middle. Dug up and back. Mm, An so easy good. ball for Michael. <laughs> Doria, early gifts coming for the VNS squad here. But overpass coming from RMS. You do not want to have these errors in overpass because there's a lethal front row on the side of VNS. 13 to 5. Attack from the mm. left. That doesn't work. Dakles now on the bunch, and he's able to break down the wall. It's important that Dakles allows his spikers to shine. Know who to set at the right time. Earlier, he had five excellent sets. He needs more production from the middles. I've been saying this early on in this match. You have to spread out your offense e evenly. Adviento. Sails out. He had two points in his last match, Aviento being a bit aggressive, but a lack of execution in the back row attack. That was his first game, actually, as an opposite spiker, their previous outing. So this makes it two. Medina pushing that ball. Did he hold it? Yes. He did hold the ball. He knew it himself. 
accepting the air. Well, he's had a great game so far, so he would surely get that pass. 13 to 8, Kulabat receives. 1 2. Yay, too good. <laughs> That's already five points now coming from Castaneda. I mean, the receive as well coming from Kulabat, the trajectory of that first ball was a bit quick, allowing Castaneda to go for that 1 2 play. You know, now I'm looking for the age of Castaneda. He's born 2002, so that makes oh him my. 21 as Ronnie Adviento scores. Adviento is hitting practice for the VNS Nasty Griffins. But we have Arcelio. So now Arcelio, jersey Arcilio. number 15, Arcilio. is the second youngest player of VNS. He's 15 years old. And I want to go back to Castaneda. I needed to see his age because at 21 years old, that makes you eligible to still be recruited in the UAP, for example. Right. Just like Jay Disquitado. Yes, true. Um, let's see if Coach Ralph might actually have another guy recruited from the Spikers' turn. As he got to see another point off of a service ace. We have a timeout. Siguro yung um, pagdating na lang po sa training, um, pain, it, it will hurt you but it will improve you. Uh, so yung parang mahihirapan ka kapag ka nasa ensayo pero magbe-benefit ka after that. Oh, it's just one quote. Well, that's all that we needed. Happy Friday. Yeah, happy Friday. <laughs> that was so good. The postseason of the association is almost here. Watch the 2024 NBA playoffs starting April 20, only on NBA TV Philippines, One Sports, and Filipinas Live. Hashtag everyone's game. Hashtag NBA on signal. It's a service error for RMS. But, you know, that quote, Jamie, was that really relatable. I actually remember what my former coach in high school told me. He said, suffer now. Right. And be a champion forever. Right. Well, because on the other side of suffering, the other side of pain is good. You have to go through all the emotions, all the growing pains before you can get to the good stuff. It's all about the journey, I would say. Nothing good comes easy. 17 to 10. Oh, nice block point yep. for Guadalupe. Guadalupe timing that early on here from that A quick attack. No coverage on the side of VNS. Castaneda is again trying to activate his youngster, but you did mention nothing good comes easy. A chase for Castaneda, Pulabat pushes. Good recognition by Bonch. Ipulan turns around. Chance ball, but Moria, Castaneda, and there's there the youngster. Go. Arcelio scores. Arcelio being activated here on that big attack. See Castaneda giving his middle blockers some confidence here. Okay, so that allows me to talk about Castaneda again. We did mention he's only 21. Actually, he just turned 22 last April 2. So happy birthday, happy birthday. to Mr. Castaneda. We were anticipating him to get recruited. Apparently, he already got recruited by San Beda. He's serving in residency here. And you know, that's one of the best stories that BNS has to offer because he's one of the few players who have already been recruited. Kevin Montemayor himself also started with coach and he now plays for some beda. Wow, and what better way to practice in the Spikers turf as well. A lot of experience coming from the Spikers turf. 12 serving 18, ball in, Palmoria receives. Back set, 
Ronnie Adviento, that's a miscue for RMS. Adviento just piling up in the scoring department from that right pin. We haven't talked about the blocking of RMS, a lack of press, more organization needs to come from the blocking here on the other side. But you can't neglect the talents of VNS. A lot of firepower, whether it's coming from the left or right pin. Now they have their double sub back in the game. They've been highly efficient. Imperial, now to Kulabat. Mm. Wow, what a hit. Kulabat, only good things to say about Kulabat. Kulabat, too much strength in that attack. Difficulty coming from the side of RMS. Oh, unfortunately, the next serve just went outside for Imperial. Well, with the total service errors here, RMS with three and nine for VNS, whereas with the service aces, VNS with seven and RMS with one. Again, high risk, high reward. Right. As now there's a net touch for RMS. Oh, Balisi completely held the net. As he went up. Okay, so now we have Martishon back in the game, the 14-year-old. Medina taking some rest, giving his other uh, teammates some opportunity <laughs> to play. That's too much. <laughs> Let's give others a chance. As Mario misreceives, it's been a challenge for him in today's outing. A lot of time for Imperial. Mm -hmm. Bartolome in or out, it's out. It's a smart combination play coming from Imperial, but a little bit overcooked in that sequence. Got to be smart with your attacks. Bartolome sailing that out. Oh, he wanted to pound that right, ball. Right. Mika did mention he's expected to step up in this game. That's a service error. These are the untimely service errors coming from Guadalupe, coming from his squad. Sometimes a play can change the fortune of your game. It, it can add some momentum. Unfortunately, RMS is halting their own from their own mistakes. Rich Mark giving that ball up. A free ball for VNS. Martishon, still no point for him. Rich Mark, left pin. Ooh, that could have gone yep. out. He was there though. Chance ball. It's Martishon again. Dug up, tackless. Back to the left, straight to the back. Martishon! Wala pa rin. And it's a violation <laughs> by Rich Park Sports. I guess third time's the charm, but he can feel the intent, the intention he's trying to power through that block of RMS. Unfortunately, it won't register as an attack point, yes. but an error <laughs> Good for try. RMS. Yeah. Castell from the middle. Castell with that B quick attack. See, there's success coming from the middle blockers of RMS, but that is due to the perfect receive. But the thing with RMS, they need more of that. They need more consistency. Ooh. Wow, that serve went long. Straight to the A board. Very unfortunate for Balisi. So now it's nine match points for the VNS Griffiths. Luis Bartolome. Sharp serve. Another tough receive. Oof. Chance ball. Is it going to be the youngster? No, nope, mm. it's Imperial. He says, it's my turn. It's my turn to get some attacking points in that column. But great production from the side of VNS Nasty. They were playing as a team. Dig, set, spike. Not a lot of combination plays, just sticking to the system of Coach Ralph. I mean, this is what we love to see. Lessons learned coming from this tournament. So there you have it. The first three sets won by VNS in our op open conference. And this is their first win of our campaign. Rich Mark Sports, on the other hand, will drop down to zero wins and five losses. More of our breakdown after this short break.
Hindi yung sasabihin naman ba? Hindi na. Back at the Inaira Sports Arena for your Spikers Turf 2024 and I'm with the best player of this match. Walang iba kung hindi si Wewe Medina. Wewe, sabi mo sa akin kanina, challenged ka dito sa big role na to and definitely nakita namin yun dito ngayon. Sabi mo rin, gusto mo ng help at nakita rin namin yun, lalo na kay Bartolome. Anong masasabi mo doon? Sobrang thankful ako sa mga teammate ko. Siyempre, uh, yung win workout namin as a team, lumabas din and yung nag-response din yung mga teammate ko na yung kailangan namin is uh, magtulungan as a team. Yun. Para sa'yo, sa nakita mo dito sa game na to, ano na yung mga naayos dun sa mga sabi mong gusto mong improvement pa ng team? Obviously naman, nag-workout. Nag-work yung uh, service namin and yung blocking sa amin. Yun. And pinabati ko yung family ko sa bataan yan. Yung mama ko, papa ko, mga kapatid ko. And yung mga teammate ko, sila Joshua Mandal, sila Edward Camusana, sila G. Boyd de Vega, and si Danny, yung girlfriend ko. Maraming salamat. Well-deserved attention for Wewe Medina, Migs and Jamie. Well, binati niya na on air. So uh, again, there's no more hiding between Wewe Medina <laughs> and Danny Ravenna. So we've talked about his efficiency all game long. Do you have any more to add about him? I mean, not just his efficiency, not um, only on the scoreboard, but his capabilities go beyond the scoreboard, Migs. It's his leadership, his consistency, and that is what... Vietnam needs. They need a leader to lean to, a leader to look for, and that is definitely Webb and Medina. Well, it did not help that they had a tough schedule to begin the conference, right. but moving forward, this might be a big spark plug for Volleyball Never Stops. And also with VNS, this is um, the learnings that they were able to retrieve in this entire conference, but let's take a look at the set statistics here on your screen. Five on the side of RMS and 14 with VNS. You can see that large gap with nine more for VNS. But take a look at the errors here, even with eight. But what is not shown on your screens are the timing of the misserves, the timing of the attacks that could have halted the momentum of VNS and RMS. So it's back to the drawing board for RMS. All right, so there you have it. BNS, congratulations for getting their first win of the conference. For RMS, they're uh, still down at the bottom of the standings with Maverick, winless in our campaign so far. Let's see if the hard hitters can actually respond with a win today versus Philippine Air Force. Thank you for joining us in this 3 center to begin things for your Spikers Third Friday. For Mika Bisamis and Jamie La Vitoria, my name is Nick Gomez, and make sure to catch more of our Spikers Third Open Conference in 2024.